What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're going to check out a SketchUp extension from Valley Architects that allows you to create doors and windows in your SketchUp models. Before we get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Rusty Roche, Jeff Bruce, and Manny LaMarche. Patreon is most of you know is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that we cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, you want to check that out, maybe uh, support the show and vote on the extensions that we cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, instant door and window. Plugin developer, Valley Architects. Plugin cost, it's $29 a year or as a part of the Instant Architecture Package, $118 a year. Where to get it? You can get it from Valley Architects website at the link in the notes below. Tool functions. This tool is designed to help you quickly create doors, windows, skylights, louvers, and more within your SketchUp models. As with all of Valley's extensions, there's a huge number of options available for the different kinds of doors and windows you can create, and you can also customize to your liking. So to start off, to place a door or window, you activate the Create Door or Window tool. Then you can select the type of object you'd like to create, then click on the box to the left in order to select the style of the object you'd like to create. Once you've selected a style, there are a couple of different options, but in this case I'm going to focus on the third option, which sets how the object cuts a hole in your walls. There are three settings here, 2D, 3D, and Double Wall. And quite honestly, I'm finding myself either using 2D for flat walls and double wall. I can't quite figure out the difference between 3D and double wall, but double wall seems to work pretty well. In any case, these options allow you to set the kind of openings that these can create in single and double walls in SketchUp. Once you've done this, simply click in your model to place those objects. Note that with the double wall selected, it seems to wait to cut the hole until you've closed out of the tool. One thing to note about this is this really seems to work best if you have the raw geometry selected. So if your walls are in a group, you may want to put the door within the group um, when you first set it up. Or you may want to put the object within the group when you first set it up. Now let's talk a little bit about the window options. So the windows have a number of different parameters you can edit, like the main size, the detail around the windows, the mullion size, and more. In addition, you can also select a ton of different trim profiles for the different windows. I think you can also use a custom trim profile if you want to. There's a really big library of windows to choose from as well, including standard, arched, corner, and bay windows. One thing to note is if you want to change your openings, and this actually works pretty well, just draw a selection box across your window, making sure you pick up the geometry of the hole that gets created, and this will allow you to move your whole window. Now let's talk a little bit about the door options. There's also a large number of door options contained within Instant Door and Window. They work a lot the same way as the window options do with a couple added features. The first you'll notice is the option for 2D plan. Basically what this does is allows you to add a door arc for a plan view in case you're trying to create architectural plans. You can set this to put it on its own layer. All the options are editable like the trim, and more, just like with the windows. In addition, you can also edit and adjust the hardware that gets placed on these doors. So, in addition to that, and one of the things I should have mentioned for the windows as well, is that you can add materials to all the different parts and pieces of the doors and windows. Note that this only adds materials that are actively in your model, so you may need to draw a little swatch off to the side and apply that material so that it shows up on the dropdown. One of the fun functions of the doors is that you can use the SketchUp Interact tool to cycle them through various open and closed states. One thing to note is that occasionally I'm finding that these doors cut the opening in your uh, double-sided wall, but they don't remove the re remaining material. I found that if you just select the material and delete it out in these instances, everything seems to work fine. You can also add other things like garage doors to your model as well. There's several tools in here, like tools that allow you to repeat objects that you've already placed in your model, and you can also adjust materials after the fact. 
so that gives you kind of an overview of what this extension can do. You can definitely get in depth with creating custom doors and saving them and a lot of stuff like that. And if you guys really want to see some tutorials on that, leave a comment below and let me know. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.